Hello and welcome to Chapter 7 of the UVM Primer Code Videos. I'm Ray Salemi and I'm the author of the UVM Primer. Uh, in this chapter, we talked about static variables and static methods and how those work in object-oriented programming. Variables are variables that exist in a class whether or not you create an instance of that class. And they're very useful for providing common global uh, data and methods across an entire test bench. Uh, in this example, we're looking at this class here called Lion Cage. A Lion Cage is a system Verilog queue that can hold lion objects. So we put the lions in the cage. And if we look at this code here, uh, we create a lion named Kimba, and we, uh, we push that lion into the queue by accessing the, the cage variable by saying lion cage colon colon cage dot pushback. Pushback is a method on a system Verilog queue, and so any queue will have pushback. It's not something that we put in there. Down here, we also do the same with Simba. And we again, we do a lion cage colon colon cage that accesses this specific variable that's global and it stays there through the whole simulation. Uh, and then also we put in uh, Mustafa here, uh, also goes in a cage. In the same approach, lion cage colon colon cage pushback lion, lion h. So this variable lion h, the handle, uh, is holding a different lion here, and then we create a new one here, and then a new one here. So all three of these objects are now in the queue. Now to display them, we loop through the cage, and we print each lion out to the screen. And that's uh, and we have this get name method, which we've added to the uh, to the lion class that prints his name out to the screen. So that's the uh, that's the creating a a static variable. Now, you may also want to create static uh, methods in addition to static variables. Lion cage that we have here, it assumes that the user knows how to work with a system Verilog queue. And not everyone may know how to use a queue. They may not know about the, uh, the, the pushback function here or how to make a loop using a queue. So let's say we wanted to give users some methods to hide the implementation. So we can create this instead a static method. So now we've got our lion cage <clears throat> over here. Here's our lion cage. And we see that we have a protected static variable called cage. Protected means that users, just simply using the class, can't reach that variable. The variable is syntactically hidden. And what we're basically saying to the users, don't touch the variable use the methods that I've given you to access that variable. In this case, I've created a static function called cage lion. So that puts the lion in the cage. Uh, and I created another static function called list lions. So now someone who wants to use the lion cage doesn't need to know about system Verilog queues, uh, doesn't need to know how we implemented this. They just do this. They create a new lion. They call lion cage colon colon cage lion, which is a method, and they pass it the handle. And that puts the lion in the cage. We make a new Simba. We put Simba in the cage. We make a new lion named Mustafa. We put Mustafa in the cage. And now when we do list lions, they all get printed out to the screen. And the user here didn't have to know about for each functions or system Verilog queues or any of the functions associated with those.